Today, I'll show you how to add a new user to your BioKM website. Only the people whom you have designated with usernames will be able to log in and share their knowledge. Click on My Information to start. The first page you see displays your personal details, which all the other users can also see. You can easily update or change your information by clicking Edit. Click on Members to see the current lab members. To add a new member to your lab, click on the Add Member link and fill in the form details. Today I'll add Jason Turner as a new member. He will be in charge of the lab order materials. I need to enter Jason's first and last name as well as his phone number and email address. Jason will be able to update the rest of his information later. Read only user means the user will be able to see all projects but not have the ability to add or to edit, so I'll keep it as no. Create new projects. I'll say yes. Jason is part of the lab and he needs to have the option to describe what he is doing in his project. Can approve orders. Jason will also be in charge of ordering the materials and equipments in the lab, so I'll choose yes. That means Jason will be notified when someone in the lab would like to order something. He will be the only member in the lab that has an ability to approve orders. Administer the system. I'll keep it no. Only the principal investigator and postdocs at our lab can administrate the system. The administrator is able to add new members as well as change a previous member's status to former. The administrator can also see all documents and projects and has the option to delete an item, even if he isn't the one who added it to the system. I'll choose a password for Jason, and he will be able to change it later. By checking Get Email Notification, Jason will get an email with his login name, password, and a link to the system. Finally, I will click on Add New Member, and Jason is now officially in the system. I can also change the picture, or Jason can do it later.